train, losers complain. Just enjoying my ride in to day two of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders training camp. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful sunny day, not much wind. It'll be hot for the boys out there today. They have to stay pretty hydrated to keep going. Yeah, it's a beautiful ride here going along the Saskatchewan River here on Spadina Crescent. It's early days in camp. It's hard to tell who's going to be the number ones on the offensive line, especially they've been rotating everybody in and out like crazy. So it's really difficult to say who, who the uh, people were. Thank you. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, Fry's been looking pretty good. Another Canadian we might be able to keep. Uh, but uh, for the rest of them, it looks like they've been playing Blake quite a bit inside. It'd be handy to have him as guard, and uh, if a Canadian does happen to go down, we can always uh, we can always slide him out to uh, the tackle position and uh, use four Canadians on the offensive line. But it's sure nice out here. Everything's starting to turn green. This warm weather's come early this season. But they'll be running a lot of drills today. I'll try to get some of the footage. Drills are hard to tell. Some of the drills are hard to tell who really stands out. One drill for the running backs yesterday, uh, Hickson really stood out there going across pylons uh, and uh, coming across and shooting forward and they're pushing him from the back and he just goes through there, his feet are going a million miles an hour. You can just tell he's head and shoulders ahead of a lot of the other guys and that particular drill he really shines. Really agile man for his speed. He's, He's agile. I'm glad we got him on our team. But I hope they do a lot more 12-on-12 uh, 12 12 drills today because it's just about impossible to, to for the coaches to see who and stands out and who's doing their jobs. And, and, you know, I don't envy the coaches. Uh, job trying to pick from all these guys because I don't think it's too long before they have to cut back to 85 players. I think it might be tomorrow. It's pretty early but some guys have to go. Yeah it's just beautiful along here along the river. It's a nice ride into camp. Sometimes the traffic's a little sketchy but in the morning There was a few really good plays yesterday when they were playing um, the receivers against the DBs and the quarterback. He's not getting bothered, of course. He's uh, Marnet. He's not getting bothered, of course. It's he's got a free view of the whole thing, so he better make about 95% completion. He's got four receivers at least to pick from. Should be able to find somebody open. Yesterday, uh, Jake Dalagala, he really shone. I thought it was Harris that threw uh, it to uh, Winky, Winicky, but uh, it was uh, Dalagala. He threw both ways. There wasn't much wind, but the one had some wind to it. And his ball, he's got a nice ball. It'd be hard to not include him in the this year's version of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders.
birds are singing today, that's for sure. Glad I bought a lot of water. You go, if you get thirsty out there, it's pretty hot in the stands. If you're coming out here and bring yourself a bit of water, that's for sure. It's starting to pick up pretty good here. Everybody heading to work. A lot of them retired and do whatever they damn well please. Gardening season though. My back's feeling the pain. I should go over and see the physio and doctors in camp, see if they got any magic magic potions for my back. Here's where all the action takes place. <clears throat> Saskatchewan Rough Rider training camp day number two. So far we've missed any of the injuries we had last year at this time. We were already having guys go down with Achilles tears. I uh, think four on the end went down. And those aren't injuries that bypass you get rid of really quick there's a long-term injuries it was a major blow to the riders that's for sure here a little bit early again i love seeing the early guys come out here see who is wanting really wanting that picture Morning. Hey. Morning. Yeah, there's already guys out here. Wasn't that many fans out here yesterday. It's happy to see a lot of the people that I meet here every year. It's like a reunion. They want to get their fix for football just like I do. Anyway, I'll come back to you once I few more guys pop out here most days I've been here all the defensive coordinator Shivers he's always one of the first coaches out here really friendly guy talk to him a bit nice guy I think he's pretty good pretty talented Glad we can keep him around. Sean Baines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's going on? Not much. How you doing? Hey, you're shining out there, buddy. Huh? You're shining out there. <laughs> I'm trying, man. Nice I'm trying. smile you got there, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Man. How are you? What's your name? Good, Dale Tamke. Damn, yeah. nice to meet you, Dale. Long time fan of these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's an honor. It's yeah. an honor. I do not take this lightly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. We'll represent properly. I got yeah. you. What are they looking for today? Uh, you heard anything? Pretty much the same. Yeah. Same as yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Gonna Easy do... going, getting used to the turf. Yeah. Uh, How do you like this turf? Getting along going. It's not bad. Yeah. It's actually, it's pretty decent. The pebbles, yeah. pebbles kind of soften the steps. So yeah. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. It's not beating nobody up too. Not yet. At least. Yeah. Um, it's getting a little old, but that, that one down at, uh, where you play the green oh, and white game. Oh, oh yeah, 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 it's yeah. a little better shape. Yeah, it is. I've actually been out there. Do you have to use different cleats then for different kind of? Uh, are they pretty well the same? It it it, it just depends on I think the person itself. Yeah. Um, because some people, um, you know, some some people slip on different surfaces. Like for me, I can probably wear the same cleat on yeah. grass turf. You know, in the in doesn't the, make a difference that rubber shit that flies up all the time, a little bit because there seems to be a lot on here. Right? There's a ton, there's, huh? <laughs> there's a ton, yeah. But I guess that's to soften the step, yeah. So, um, I mean, I don't I don't think it's terrible, I don't yeah. think it's terrible if you can if you're stepping properly, you shouldn't be, <laughs> yeah, you, know, you shouldn't be slipping too much. So, yeah, like last year, we had a lot of those Achilles guys yes. go out. Would yeah. that be turf? Or, or oh, that's or just, absolutely turf related, yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, yes, it could be weaknesses within you know the training and whatnot, but. 
um, you, the, the turf is the last straw. Like, yeah. If you go against the turf, you're going to lose. Yeah. Which is why I'm a grass guy. Obviously, I'm from Florida. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. All so right. I'm used to hey, you're used to this Mother heat nature. too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. This is nice. <laughs> this, this is a light day. Uh, <laughs> well, I was supposed to get to 30. Yeah. See, see, it's, thir it's 30, probably like 32, 33 right now where I'm from. So yeah. But yeah, you know, good morning practice, good little breeze. <laughs> yeah, I hope breeze. Yeah, okay, thanks for the interview, bud. Have a good day. There's a, yeah, the old line, they got a lot of them to choose from this year. I think they got around 15. So, I uh, have to cut a few of them, that's for sure. Selection and uh, hope we can have a better year on, on the big old line here. Trevor's gonna need some protection. He's not, uh, you're a scrambling type quarterback. He's not a rusher. It's the only thing I liked about Fajardo is he actually could uh, run the ball. But that's ceased to happen after he hurt his knee. I still say they should have tried some of these guys earlier, like the quarterbacks earlier. And uh, so we'd have a little better jump on this season. The season was over. And some reporters said, oh, they threw him under the bus. I'm sorry, I'd have thrown him under the bus a lot earlier than that. That's what they get paid the big bucks for. So. Coaches paid the big bucks. I always thought it was Dickinson that didn't want to pull the trigger, but it looks more and more like uh, Moss wanted to keep him in there why would he have taken him in montreal it's going to be one of the real interesting things that happened this season is how uh Fajardo does in montreal i wish him the best but i don't have high hopes for him that's for sure it's getting closer to start time now some of the big boys are starting to come out That was Christmas. It came out the same time yesterday and jugs are all the way down there. He'll be a real asset for the team. He's got big arms on him too. Just like Mika Johnson. Boy, that guy has a set of pipes on him. Unreal. Offensive coaches out. He comes up pretty early too and gets talking. Doesn't waste no time. All we did was uh, switch our offensive uh, line coach with uh, Edmonton. Just swapped him. Ours went there, his, and uh, Edmonton's came here. But as far as how camps run, it always seems a lot more mellow. In the Jones days, it was uh, a lot more, seemed to be a lot more hustle and, and the action just sort of never stopped and uh, you could just feel the vibe, that's for sure. There's a couple more coaches coming out. I'll have to look up and see who they are. Yeah, that's another thing I don't really like in CFL is uh, how much they can pay their coaches and have a cap on it and if your team can afford it and fit it in the books I think that should be one advantage I can see it with the players but coaching get the best staff you can possibly get here to play there's being That's my thinking anyway he looks a lot fitter than the last time he was in Saskatchewan today they ran a lot of different formations for the offensive line and they ran through a lot of formations uh, for special teams lineup for the offensive line. A lot of the guys I thought were going to be playing together were out there, but it's a little early. Time will tell. Here's a couple of linebacker drills, and it was pretty interesting. Well, that's it for camp today. I couldn't get any of the action. They told me not to shoot any video of the action. I don't know, I guess I'm giving away trade secrets or something. 
but uh, no problem. I'll see if I can take photographs. My camera went down today, so I won't have as many pictures. But today was uh, much similar to yesterday, except for on the defensive backs against the linemen. I mean, the defensive backs against the, the our receivers. Uh, the receivers dropped a couple balls more than normal anyway you got to pick those ones off for sure but a, they had more of the what i suspect to be the uh, starting guys the starting lineup uh, together today and it's still early times but i'll get back to you tomorrow i'll try to get out here again tomorrow and catch some of the action for you Take care and go Riders go!